Welcome back, people. Today we're going to take a look at the 2021 sci-fi horror movie, Black Friday. On the day of Thanksgiving, an Walmart employee named Monty is decorating the store for the upcoming Black Friday sale. He's on a platform placing a banner when suddenly a noise startles him. Monty checks the shop for the source of the noise and finds a horrid-looking parasitic organism behind the shelves. As he tries to comprehend what it is, the creature moves and secretes white slimy fluid on Monty's face. The impact kills him instantly. A while later, two other employees enter the store looking for Monty. To their horror, he's turned into a mutated version of himself. Somewhere else, the toy store employee, Ken Bates, drops his daughters off at his ex-wife's house because he has a late shift at work. Following that, Ken goes to pick up his nebbish co-worker, Chris Gadecki. Chris's father has always thought of him as a loser. He insults him every chance he gets, but Chris has never had the guts to stand up for himself. Chris and Ken drive to work still bummed that they're working on Thanksgiving night. On their way, they notice that Walmart is closed on such an important day. Little do they know that it's been infected by the parasite from earlier. Outside the toy store, a long line of anxious customers is waiting for it to open. Ken and Chris join co-workers Marnie, Brian, Archie, Ruth, Emmett, Anita, and Bircher as they all get ready to open the store for Black Friday. Ken talks to co-worker Marnie, who he's in a relationship with. Bircher goes outside the shop through the back door to smoke, but he accidentally locks himself out. He bangs on the door, hoping someone will listen, but something attacks him out of the blue. The scene abruptly changes to the inside of the store, where the employees are informed that they won't be getting paid breaks for the night. Already in a bad mood, their mood gets worse after the announcement. Ken is being tailed by the new employee, Emmett, for the night. After everything is prepared, they finally open the doors and a horde of customers run inside the door. They start to gather toys like crazy, buying everything they could get their hands on before it sells out. While trying to check out an angry customer, Chris touches a gooey substance that disgusts him. Just then, Marnie notices an old man staring at her from the other side of the store. She ignores it and gets back to work. A grumpy old lady goes to sit on Santa's spot. As the camera pans downwards, we see that the parasite from earlier is under the chair. Somewhere else in the store, Chris is brought to clean someone's vomit, but it's actually liquid secreted by the parasite. It's already infected some of the customers, making them mutate into monsters. They attack Chris, taking him by surprise. He manages to save himself by smashing them with toy boxes. Archie comes out of the staff room and is confused to see the aftermath of Chris's struggle. They think that he's gone violent, so they put him in citizen's arrest in the storage room. No one believes him when he says that the customers attacked him first. Outside, Emmett is also attacked by a mutated woman. She spits out a white gooey substance towards his mouth to infect him, but Ken saves him at the last minute. The two quickly run to the employees to tell them about their experience. They try to call the police, but to their surprise, the line is busy. The store manager disregards everything and says that the store should stay open for the rest of the night. Moments later, Emmett gets a seizure. He spits white liquid and starts to mutate into a monster. Anita tries to help him, but she's instantly killed by the white gooey substance again. Emmett completely transforms into a monster and tries to attack the others, but Archie hits him with a nail gun and sends him outside. Now, the group calls the neighboring store to ask for help, but finds out that the shoppers have also mutated. The lady on the other end asks them to separate the mutated choppers because they're building something together. The phone call then ends abruptly, suggesting that the store has been taken over by the mutants. Following that, the employees decide to run to the sales floor and hide there until everything blows over. The manager is still worried about not getting enough sales tonight, but the others shut him up. When Anita also starts to transform, they quickly run to the sales floor. The sight in front of them makes them freeze in fear. The floors are bloodied and a woman is dragging half of someone's body towards the Santa World section. Archie, Brian, and Chris see that more people are coming into the store, so they risk their lives to close the main entrance. Meanwhile, the others go to the office to hide. Ken heads to the bathroom where he encounters another mutated man who attacks him. He and the manager somehow get the mutants off and run outside. At the same time, Marnie notices the mutant choppers gathering at the Santa World through the camera. She goes outside to check and finds that the mutants are merging themselves into a giant parasite that's growing every minute. She runs back to the shop and meets the others. They finally shut the doors so more people can't enter the store. Ken wants to take his holiday bonus and leave like the other employees, but the manager reveals that they aren't getting any bonuses this year. Even at the time of crisis, the employees are furious for not getting their bonuses. 
Marnie even punches the manager and tells him she quits. The group is delighted that they'd finally be saved, but their happiness doesn't last long. The car drives straight into the store, making way for the mutants outside to come in. The employees run to save their lives, but Chris is attacked by a female mutant. Archie tries to save him, but in turn, the woman catches him with the gooey substance and infects him. Still, Archie tells Chris to run away and fights till his last breath. Chris witnesses Archie's guts falling to the floor after being eaten by a mutant. He then runs to the back of the store with the other employees as a monster Emmett follows him. Marnie manages to kill Emmett and saves the others. Now, the only employees left are the manager, Ken, Brian, Chris, and Marnie. Suddenly, the power goes out and they have to use glowing toys to light the room. With no way out, they plan to stay there until everything blows over. A few hours later, Marnie brings out turkey from the fridge that they enjoy together. While talking, Chris and Ken get into an argument. Chris belittles Ken for working at a retail job and for dating Marnie, who's half his age. Marnie says that she isn't dating him, which hurts Ken even more because he thought they had chemistry. Frustrated, he decides to leave the store once and for all. They make their way to the electric room and figure out that they can still go outside through the loading dock. When they're out, they can use a truck to escape the mutants outside the store. As they look for tools to open the duct, Emmett revives stronger than before. He tries to attack the group and gets into a fistfight with Ken. After some time struggling, Ken knocks him out but gets bitten in the process. The others try to save him, but he asks them to stay away, thinking that he'll also turn into a mutant now. They suggest he cuts his arm off to prevent the infection, but Ken refuses. With heavy hearts, the group leaves Ken alone. They get inside the back of the truck. Chris takes it upon himself to go outside and reach the front seat. In the meantime, Ken waits to be transformed, but it never happens. Suddenly, a mutated woman barges through the door. To stall her, Ken lights up a stuffed toy and hides in the back of the shelves. When he gets out of the truck, Chris sees a mutated Bircher in front of him. He is relieved after the mutant goes away even after seeing him, but Bircher returns with a horde of his kind. Chris quickly climbs to the front seat, but doesn't know how to start the truck. To save his life, he returns to the back through the duct and tells the others what happened. Just then, the mutants outside start to bang on the truck and move it around. With no way to escape, they run back inside the store and climb upstairs to the roof. However, a problem arises when the parasite that's been growing inside the store pushes the vents. The shoppers who were engulfed by the parasite earlier push the vents open, trying to emerge to the roof. The manager's now had enough of the shoppers. He says that he's been working in retail for 27 years and has no plans to run behind the rude customers again. After giving a heartfelt speech about how much he hates the shoppers, he jumps into the vent, deliberately letting the parasite engulf him. Back inside the store, Ken is still hiding behind the shelves from a mutated woman. He sets up several traps and distractions, but she doesn't give up looking for him. She eventually finds him and drags him through the room. Ken notices that she's the same rude woman who he served in the store earlier. The woman takes him to the parasite and hooks him, but he manages to hit her with his roller skates and escapes. Back on the roof, Brian reveals that he's the one who bit Ken. He's hated him for a long time and wanted to take this opportunity to end him for good. Marnie calls him an awful person and starts to hit him. Chris tries to stop them, but they fall off the roof while fighting. Fortunately for them, they land in a garbage bin and are safe. They ask Chris to do the same, but he's nervous since he's a germaphobe. He's eventually shaken off the edge and lands on the garbage. Following that, they get out of the bin and run to the parking lot to get a car. The entire store is now filled with the massive parasite which is about to burst any second now. The group is horrified to witness it emerging from the top of the store. The little parasite has now grown hands and has turned into a giant mutant, a hundred times more dangerous than the others. Brian then notices that the parasite is made up of all the shoppers and claims that he can get through to them using his management skills. The two others don't believe him, but Brian is determined to calm the shoppers down. He walks towards the giant in plain view like he would approach a customer and tries to reason with it. The parasite seems to be listening to him and calming down. But just when they think the plan has worked, it kicks Brian to death. Chris and Margie are horrified to witness his tragic death. As they brainstorm what to do next, Ken runs outside to them and the three reunite. Fortunately for them, he has the keys to his SUV. They run to his car but are attacked by the creature midway. They realize that someone has to distract the creature for the others to survive. Ken takes the task and starts yelling at it while the other two run to the vehicle. Chris gets on a forklift and tricks the monster into swallowing it whole. 
This causes the injured creature to collapse into the fire. Ken, Chris, and Marnie are finally safe. They escape in Ken's car, but on their way, they see more massive monsters emerging from other stores. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.